A woman says she is struggling after finding her dream home in Central Florida only to be nickeled and dimed out of thousands of dollars. News 6's Mike DeForest explains how a simple mistake turned her dream into a housing nightmare and what's next for the company after it shut its doors. We say it all the time, read the fine print before signing any contract or agreement. Tammy Renner says she was so excited to find an affordable place to live, she signed this lease agreement without realizing all the ways her landlord could squeeze more money out of her. All I had on my mind was I just wanted to get here. I just wanted to be here with my family. I just wanted to get here. As Tammy Renner was preparing to move from North Carolina to Central Florida, she went online and found this modest Orlando home that fit her budget, with rent advertised at $650 per month. The home was being leased by Florida Beach Coast, a company supposedly based in Gotha that's currently facing nearly a dozen lawsuits from unhappy tenants. And I had absolutely no idea what I was getting into. Renner was required to pay more than $1,500 up front, including her first month rent and a standard leasing fee. Then, before moving in, she was charged another $1,500 for a maintenance updating and design fee and a service fee. They got $3,000 out of me just to move in here. Needing a home, Renner paid those charges and signed this lease agreement. I didn't read a lot of it. Which is loaded with other charges and fees. Well, I wish that I would have really looked at the fine print. If she had, Renner would have discovered an additional $20 per month fee to use an online tenant portal required to pay bills and request maintenance. Then there's the $50 monthly COVID-19 government regulation fee. It's not like they come in and disinfect or anything. Three weeks after moving in, Renner received a text message from Florida Beach Coast saying, please have the lawn mowed ASAP, which she insists she did that day. But Renner later received a $250 charge for lawn care. I was irate. Florida Beach Coast claims a contractor mowed the lawn. I was ready to try and track them down. But she could not visit Florida Beach Coast's office in person since the company's Gotha address turns out to be the post office. And she's reluctant to call Florida Beach Coast on the phone. It's $50 per call. $50? $50. What business charges you to call them? Recently, Florida Beach Coast abruptly shut down. The website, gone. Meanwhile, a brand new company managed by the exact same people has opened up, Sunbelt Pros. That company is based at the Ocoee Post Office. Mike DeForest, News 6.